Hey there YouTube, Squint here. I want to say welcome back. Uh, thanks for everybody reaching out to me, wishing me a happy birthday. So today, I, uh, I'm going to pick a lock on my birthday. And of course it has to be from the last package that I got. So this one was penned by Keith Dean. 9-24-2017. Um, Didn't have a name, name for it, but it does say to use a shim. So it's going to be a pretty good lock to pick. There's the key. Deep, really good bidding on there. Works real smooth. Key does hang a little bit going in and out, but once it's in, it works real good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get to picking and hopefully get this one on video. Get you angled correctly. Zoom you in. So this one has a different type of keyway than what I'm normally used to working on, so it should be uh, fairly interesting for for me to see if I can get this thing picked. I have my uh, couple of different picks that I think I, that'll work fairly well on here. I have the Antilla, of course. I like that one because of the nice swoop in the hook. But I'm going to use a pick from uh, Sparrows. It's one of the SS Dev hooks. It's a little bit thinner. Um, should give me a little bit more room to work around in there. Um, I don't know. It just has a it has a good opening on the side, but there's a piece of warding. Uh, you can see there's a piece of warding right here that I won't be able to. I have to work around it. So I'm gonna need a, a thinner pick. So my plan is to hopefully use this SS SS Dev hook and uh, get it picked open. All right, I've got a Mad Bob tension wrench. Yeah, that might be a little too big. Let's see. Nope, fits in there perfect. All right, got a Mad Bob tension wrench in there. 1.2 millimeter tension wrench, top of the keyway. Well, uh, let's get in here and see what we can find. All right, I'm in the back of the lock. Five, four, springy. All right, got a little click off of one. That feels good. One off of two. Couple of clicks off of five. Three. Let's get a reset. See if I can get some. Yeah, I'm having to work around this warding. This is something different um, than I'm used to. So, <clears throat> trying to get the right angle for the pick to get up in there and actually touch some pins. Yeah, there's definitely a low cut there. Just jamming my pick up. See if I can get under it. Give me a little kind of, kind of rotation off of it. Still won't get up underneath there. There we go. Now we're under it. There's four. Uh, that may be a little too thin. Let me give this Antilla a shot real quick. Um, my problem is, if you look, the Antilla may be a little too thick, whereas this SS Dev hook may be a little too thin to get up underneath there. Let me see what I can find now. All right, from the back of the lock. Touched five, small rotation on the core. Oh, there we go, all right. So I hadn't ended up touching four uh, with this Antilla hook and and uh, it must have just the right enough curve on it. Uh, where'd that key go? It must have right enough curve on it just to get what I needed to set. So you can kind of see it had to get underneath at least this one, number two. Um, to get back in there and touch 
Yeah, so this Intilla hook was perfect just to get up underneath there as I needed to. But cool, so that one's open. Let's see what he put inside for us. Alright, let's see what we got on the back of here. Oh, this is one of those crazy ones that I have to stretch it out. There's the clip. Instructions said to use a shim, so we will do that. Shim's in there. Let's find some folder. Key pins are facing me. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the Bible here first because the follower I used was not the right size. So let's see what we got here in the front. Kind of stay together. One's a standard. Two's a standard. Three's a standard. Five is a standard. type on the back end of it. Alright, there we go. We'll get that here in a second. Let's go ahead and take a peek at these key pins. All in and working. Definitely some threading going on in there. And two is definitely an overset trap. All right, let's go one to standard. Two doesn't want to come out. Let's see what's going on. Two is a standard. Three is a standard. And five is a standard. Looks like there's a lot of uh, standard pins in here. Which is okay. Still made it fun to pick. Alright, let's go back. Maybe there's a couple of serrations in there. Looks like there's a serrated serrated pin in the top. Um, let's 
Let's see what else. I think there's a couple more springs in there. Sorry, one and two are copper, but they're down in there and they don't want to come out. The uh, they're definitely threaded in there. Let's see if I can get these out. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave them. He's got threading and one, uh, five. Four, three, two, and one. So the entire top is threaded. Um, when you're looking at the core of this thing, all of those are threaded also. So he's got threading done, work on top and bottom. All right. When you're looking at the pans, and there's just two coppers also on the on one and two, but they're way far down in there. They're in there though, I can see them. I don't, don't want to dig at them too much. Alright, so let's go over some of these pins for you guys. Alright, get my little pointer. This was one. Standard in one, standard key pin in two. Uh, three has some light serrations, standard key pin. And then four has, it's kind of a spool. It's a nice little spool, kind of like a top. And then a standard. And then five was standard. You had a copper spring in one. There's a copper spring in one, two, and three. And then uh, a steel spring in five. And that may be... I don't know, that's definitely not copper or steel. I don't know what that one's made out of. So, yeah, awesome, awesome lock to pick. I appreciate it. Um, that was penned by Keith Dean. And, uh, you know, it was a perfect lock to uh, open up today. And I appreciate you sending these out to me, Keith. Uh, and I'll be on to the next lock. Thanks, guys, for watching.